for me, it, it has been the, to be that guy that does what people say can't be done, you know? And I think it started with uh, trying to please my mother and trying to please my grandmother, and they always wanted higher for me. They always wanted more for me. And it got to the point that I wanted to be something. I wanted to be somebody. And it, it made me uh, choose certain roles. It, it made me turn down certain roles. Um, there is more, more than an image that I want to project. I want to be the person that is the first person there and the last person to leave. That's who I want to be because I think that the, the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. I definitely found that uh, wanting to be an actor stems from wanting to be somebody. My mom wanted me to be a truck driver because <laughs> that would mean I'd make $24,000 a year if I went to truck masters and that would be twice what my father made and she thought that would happen but something inside of me said I don't want to drive a truck there's something else that matters more to me and I decided I was not gonna go for money instead of passion and uh, the rewards have been pretty amazingly better than being a truck driver. It's not bad being a truck driver, it's just not what I was after. And I, I look back and one of the things that helped me was my original teacher, Jim Rohn, who's a personal development speaker I went to hear when I was 17. He said something the first time I heard him and he said, you know, it's really simple. If you want life to change, you gotta change. If you want life to be better, you've gotta get better. It's the only way it happens. And luck will show up for people and it'll leave them. But if you're constantly improving who you are and what you give, game over. See if you can find some ways to multiply your value to the marketplace. And he said your income will immediately start to change. See, if you go through life holding back, and most of us do, most of us, if we ask ourselves, have we done all we can do? Most of us will have to answer, no, we haven't. We've been holding back. We have ideas that we don't act on, things we want to do. We're afraid to take chances. We go through life trying to seek security and not coming outside of our comfort zone. And we take most of our stuff with us to the grave. Up until then, I was hoping that the economy would change. I was hoping that my company would change. I was hoping that my paycheck would change. I was hoping that circumstances outside would change. And then here's what I found out. It isn't going to change. So then my question was, if it isn't going to change, how will my life ever change? And here's what my teacher taught me. When you change, when you change, everything will change for you. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work. And you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. Change a question, change your life. When it comes to planning your life, I want to get you to learn to ask three questions now. The question you want to ask yourself is, what do I want? What's my outcome? What's my result? The word RPM, the first one is to get you focused on the target. The target is not the activity. The activity can change. It's what the, what's the result I'm after. If you know exactly what it is you really want, what you desire, what you're really after, clarity is power. The more clear you are and specifically what you want, the faster your brain can get you there. But if you're generally saying things like, what do I want? Well, you know, I want more money. Fine, here's a dollar, get out of here. Whether you get the outcome or not, whether you get that result, will be based first, do you have clarity? And the second thing is, whether you got enough emotional juice to keep going after it when things don't work out. Did you achieve the outcome? Yeah, when you're that general, you may be, you think you're not getting your goal, you are. The way you language your goal, the way you think about it, you're receiving it. You know, you know, I, you know, I want to feel a bit better. I want to lose some weight. Fine, you lost a pound, you're done. When you get better, everything will get better for you. 
And that's where I picked up that phrase, for things to change, you've got to change. You don't have to change the marketplace. You don't have to change the marketing plan. You don't have to change the economy. You don't have to change countries. You don't have to change circumstances out there. All you've got to do is look within and see if you can change yourself for the better. And as you change, things will start to change for you. What's the result I'm after? What's the ultimate result? What do I want out of this week, out of this thing, out of my business, out of my life, out of, for my body? Don't concern yourself too much with how you're going to achieve your goal. Leave that completely to a power greater than yourself. All you have to do is know where you're going. The answers will come to you of their own accord. Here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is going to turn everything on. Are there going to be some moments when you want to give up? Yes. Will there be some moments when it's going to seem like it's impossible? The pain that you're experiencing, the disappointment that you're experiencing, that you're going to say it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's going to be right there for you. It's, it's going to be in your face telling you to go back. When we think about changing our lives, usually that means changing your behaviors, retraining yourself, getting new habits, going out and trying them out and changing your life. This is about changing your thoughts and then your life will change. Change your thoughts, change your life. Benjamin Disraeli said nothing can resist a human will that will stake its existence on its purpose. Shortly put, I'll do it or die. Know that all you have to do is hold your goal before you. Everything else will take care of itself. And I can tell you that it doesn't make any difference what age you are, whether you're a teenager watching this, or whether you're someone uh, in your 60s, 70s, 80s, or anywhere along the way, you can make that change. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion you experience in this lifetime is shaped by beliefs and values. All of your life is controlled by decisions you make. Decisions about what to believe, decisions about what to feel, decisions about what to do. And most of us are on automatic pilot, letting the world trigger us instead of taking back control of our life. And when you do that, just think of it this way. Anything you want to change, you want to change your body, you want to change your career, your business, your relationship. What to do requires the right strategy. If you want to lose weight and keep it off, you can't obviously just throw your pendulum and go on some silly diet. You got to know the things that are going to give you lasting results. So we teach those strategies. But some people even know what to do, but they don't do it. And why are we able to get people to do it, to follow through? Because 80% of success in anything, my friends, is psychology. And 20% is the mechanics. What that means is there's how to do stuff and there's why to do stuff. How to do it is not that complex. And if you really learn from somebody who knows those refined distinctions, they can, they can show you those tipping points, those things you can do where in the least amount of time you get the biggest result. As you look at yourself as a business operator, as you look at yourself as an entrepreneur, as you look at yourself as a person that want to make a mark with your life, that want to leave a legacy, you've got to be hungry. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. You want to find people who master that because success leaves clues. And that's the same thing I'm suggesting to you. Whatever area that you want to go in, in this finances, in business, insurance industry, whatever area that you're interested in, find the people who are mastering that and follow their example. Watch your relationships. They're nourishing relationships and they're toxic relationships. Nourishing relationships, they bring the best out of you. They inspire you. Toxic relationships, they drain you. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. People that are hungry believe, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. People that are hungry know if you want to be successful you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. If you do what is easy your life will be hard. Complain, 
point at your circumstances, give up your power, blame the government, blame the economy. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. It's hard to make a radical change in your behavior. It's hard to take ownership. It's hard to swallow the bitter pill that wherever you find yourself, at some point in time, you made an appointment to be there. It's hard. It's hard. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is hard, your life will be easy.